it is Saturday, July 18th, and today's reading from Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Our mindful minute of the day is a firefly of love. Who knows that in the depth of the ravine of the mountain of my hidden heart, a firefly of my love is aflame. Abutsuni. This quiet Japanese woman's confession to herself almost a thousand years ago tells us that the most important things begin so far inside we can hardly hear them ourselves at first, or that we keep the most important things so tucked away that they barely have a chance to grow. Probably her sigh of heart bears witness to both. Please read her lines again now. Who knows that in the depth of the ravine of the mountain of my hidden heart, a firefly of my love is aflame. Abitsu ni. These are not just words, but the heart cloud of a living being catching herself alive in a moment that has repeated itself in everyone who has ever known or wanted to know love. And though I'm not sure how we can, in the snap of a guarded moment, in the vin wince of an unexpected hurt, be a mountain away from what we feel. But if we own the separation, we then begin the arduous pilgr pilgrimage back to the oneness. Somewhere along the way, and often with good reason, we learn to fear putting our feelings out in the open, out in the weather of ordinary air, as if our small piece of love will die for exposure to the elements, as if our true feelings will not survive the gaze of others. Well, yet... We all know so very well that without air, nothing can grow. So what are we to do with our tiny little firefly? It is a beautiful irony that in confessing her hiddenness, Abutsuni has given us a way. For isn't it her firefly that has fluttered all the way up from the ravine, up from the mountain of her hidden heart, flitting to moisten her eye and wag her reluctant tongue? Isn't it her little firefly of love that has kept its tail lit for more than 900 years. It doesn't have to be pretty or smart, just honest and true. For many a dance starts with a trip, and many a song finds its opening through a cough. And the meditation activities are breathe deeply into your own heart. Once there, breathe slowly and repeat Abutsu's knee words aloud as if they are your own. Breathe deeply and feel the small firefly of your love fitting inside the mountain of your heart. Breathe slowly and with each breath let the firefly fit up, flit up your ravine, up your mountain, and up to your throat. And sharing love, you know I always talk about that I have this cold, this is this guarded heart um, it's not cold, but it's guarded, and it has been for many years. And, and like he said, who knows what, what does that to us? Who knows where we get that? It's, it's, it's certainly not anyone's intention to uh, protect ourselves from love, um, but in the wanting of love, right? It's in that wanting, that seeking, but we protect ourselves because we don't want to get hurt yet that's what inevitably hurts us, this major paradox of life, right? It's Everybody's trying to figure this one out, I think. Loving yourself, loving others, letting others love you. It's such a, um, it's such a craving that we all have. It's such a like natural, when we're doing it, it's so beautiful, right? It's so, it, it's, it's the thing that we strive for and that makes us feel whole, yet we push it away and want it at the same time. So very confusing. But there's a line in here that says, it doesn't have to be pretty or smart, just honest and true. And I talk about this a lot, and I talk about when growing as a person, um, when practicing new activities of, well, let's just say it's self-love, right? Self-love activities or setting boundaries or making, you know, time for taking care of yourself. We do this 
and we stumble at it. I, you know, I say I'm going to do something and I do it, but it's kind of wonky. I'm like a toddler. You know, I set a boundary with someone and I don't say it very nicely. I say it like a like very defensively or you know we learn these new ways of being and we try but it's always not beautiful we might trip right so for many a dance starts with a trip and many a song finds its opening through a cough you know we just practice and love is just like any other skill it's it's practice but we have to open ourselves up and that is not always easy. So I encourage you to do these activities and, and read this. And I'll put the poem in, in, the, um, in the notes, in the comments or whatever it's called underneath. So what I want you to do is to totally subscribe if you like this. Share it with somebody that you think might get something from this. And uh, this book, this is an amazing book, The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. It blows my mind almost every day. It's just, it's some profound stuff to think about and talk about. That's why it's only a few minutes. That's why it's very, very short. <laughs> because I can't, I'm learning this stuff and I read this right here with you. I don't read it ahead of time. There's no, this is just coming from my heart. So I hope it helps you. It helps me tremendously and um, much love to you. I hope you have a beautiful, safe day filled with love, love of self, love of others, allowing love. So that's all I have. Be well. Namaste.